M0FXB. Welcome back to my videos on the ICOM Black Edition 2730. You can install a UT133A Bluetooth module. So I found the case really hard to remove. I mean, it, it felt like it was going to crack here at the front. But we're on the underside now. And you've got one, two, three screws there, two screws on the side here and here on both sides. That's fine. That was easy. But to get this thing off without scratching it was really hard. I used a plastic spudger and I just sort of poked around in the holes of the screws and with that until I managed to get the back end to lift up. As, but as it lifted up, it didn't really want to come out. And I was lifting it up like this and then eventually it came out. But it made cracking sounds. Now, I can't see any cracks, but it made the sounds like it did crack. So I was a, a bit worried because it puts a lot of stress. If you look here you've got these tabs that go in at the front there and they creaked and of course if you break anything they're going to say oh warranty void you've got two little holes there that those bits go in but i, I just i don't know they haven't made it easy but anyway the nice thing is that the bluetooth unit does just slip into this hole here they haven't actually given us the bracket that holds it in place you know there's no on the on the 5100 there's a thing here and then it holds it in place, but that's not even there. But anyway, if you look there, it's just got, it just literally sits there in that gap. And then you just line it up with the connector. And then just sort of push it. It clips into place. And that's it. As for, you know, I can't see anything holding it. I mean, I can't see it's going to go anywhere. So that's in. Let's uh, fire it up and see how we turn it on. I haven't got the the VS3 headset. It looks like that. But anyway, let's just fire it up. At least we know how to turn the Bluetooth on. So as you know, it's a beautiful looking set. So, I mean, I can't test anything because I haven't got the headset, but all I can do is just go menu. And then you turn until you see EX menu, then go enter. Bluetooth set, then go enter, you see the little yellow enter, enter. And then if you go into pair, and it will pair with uh, your headset. I've, <laughs> I've tried my Abri, I, I know it won't, oh, oh hang on. Connected. It worked with my Abri, how cool is that? So let's uh, leave that there, connect. These are about £25. They actually pair with so many things. They pair with your PC, your phone, your iPad, your laptop, your radio. Now, I wouldn't say that they give brilliant transmit audio, but they're fine on receive. So let's just uh, back out completely and connect to somewhere. Let's, let's, get, let's get some activity and have a listen. But obviously, the, there's no PTT. I didn't think there would be. Um, let's see if there's volume. Oh, look at that. That transmitted, didn't it? Hang on a minute. It did go into transmit, but it wouldn't come out. But, you know, the fact that it did is is something. Right, got some audio. It's definitely coming out of here. Uh, so what... One of the, uh, Obviously, uh, that does nothing. We're not keying over him because we're on the A band. He's on the B band. The volume. Um, so watch it again. What happened? I press that. It went into transmit. One two one two. But look, if I hold it, it won't come out. So I just quickly turned it off. Disconnected. But you know, it's not um. An icon set. You've been playing radio, I haven't, I haven't been on all day, I just this first time been on um, since this morning. DG4SK Edge is there. Got a few headsets here we can try. In, in, in the right, weekend. got another one here. Um, we actually went shopping. It's actually a Retivist well. one. Um, we went out and, um, Let's go pair. Uh, and it, you know, uh, the idea is if it's normal, you, you're flashing blue and red, when it pairs, uh, of, uh, it will automatically just go yeah paired and it will work like that with several 
of these budget speakers. Yeah, that one's failed. Okay, we've got this one now. It's just a budget, a budget speaker that you can literally buy anywhere for about ten pound. I'm not seeing it show up on my phone. When it starts to say connecting, it is actually trying to connect. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Okay. Let's hear. Well, we're not hearing any audio. But it did connect. Let's try another one. And when you turn it off, if I just flick it off, should say disconnect here, you'd think. Right, let's try another one. So we're going to go um, enter. That'll disconnect, then we'll let it do its thing. Let's grab one last speaker. Got this, this is the Yesu BT SSM BT10. And this has got a PTT, works with the Yesu FT5. Let's try it now. Did I, did I select pairing? Oh, well, let's give it a go. Takes a few seconds. Failed, it's clear. Let's do it one more time. Oh, and I want to get to the right where it says pairing. Right, there it is. Pair, and then enter. You know you're getting somewhere, as we saw, when it starts to say connecting. Definitely try in. Right, it's connected. Let me have a quick listen in my ear. Obviously, you can't hear this. Yeah, it actually sounds really good in the SSM. It's clear completely. Come out. And then we're just going to test the PTT on this side. Uh, and then we'll end the video. So it's gone into PTT and it's actually stopped. Well, that's, that's, that's very good, isn't it? Let me do, I want to do an echo test now. Ah, so it has actually worked with the uh, SSM BT10 and it's, it's PTT and receive. So what I've tried to do is I've got the headset here. I'm going to use it in the distance. I've got the same frequency doing an echo test. So you might hear a double, but it's hopefully you'll hear that it works on the radio. So watch this, keep an eye on the PTT on Hubnet. So we'll go, I'm going to put it back in my ear. M0 FXB test test, M0 FXB test. And then I push the button again. It de keys. It... M0 FXB test test, M0 FXB test. I think that's pretty good. So, um... <laughs> thanks for watching. Just be careful taking your covers off. Um, there's a, this is the older version of the, they're only 20 odd pounds. There's a new version of it. I actually prefer the older one, to be honest. Um, so £25, you got yourself a headset for your icon, and it seems to work. Yeah, it's not perfect, but Bluetooth never is. Bye for now, 7-3.